Shifting gears to the holidays, Christmas is just two days away. Between coronavirus and this nasty rain and windstorm, many people are staying off the roads. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live along Route 72 in Bristol. And Matthew, are people really going to stay home this year? Yeah, Shante, they are. You know, let's take a live look here at Route 72. You see some traffic lights down here, some brake lights here. So people are out right now, maybe coming home from work, maybe doing some last minute Christmas shopping. But when it comes to Christmas Day, the people that we talk to say if they're going anywhere, they're staying local. Today, the roads in Bristol were actually fairly busy. People everywhere right now, so yeah, the roads are busy today. This may have been a combination of people like Angel Cologne doing some last minute Christmas shopping or like Jean Rivera. She's prepping for a nasty Christmas Eve and Christmas morning storm that could knock power out for thousands. We're just trying to get last minute stuff for uh, Christmas. AAA says even prior to the storm, they were forecasting a 35% drop in travel, which is the lowest number of New Englanders traveling in the two decades AAA has been keeping these records. I usually go to Florida, but with the corona right now, we're not really trying to go down there because, you know, it's really bad down there. So I'm probably just going to go visit family in South Winston. AAA is predicting 3 million people will drive to their destinations, which is still 31% lower than in years past. People say they want to stay safe and stay home. We have a few kids who are in college that we hoped were going to come home, but they're not coming home this year. So one's in Florida, one's in Ohio, and we've got three more at home, so we're just going to stay home. And a few more stats. Bradley Airport should be pretty empty, and that's because flying is expected to be down 60% this year. And if you do plan on traveling, you may want to start tonight to just kind of get ahead of that storm. That is the latest live here in Bristol. Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News.